Hello everyone. Welcome to this session of quadratic equation. Let's learn something about quadratic formula. That how do we make use of it? So let me share one incident with you. Once I wanted to know the ages of two young genius kids, the two brothers, Danny and Philip. But they wanted me to solve a puzzle for knowing their ages. Danny did not tell me his age. But Philip told me that his age is 8 years less than the twice the age of Danny. I said it is not enough to find their ages. So they gave me second hint. And the second hint was the multiplication of their ages is 90. So without taking much time, I could tell them their ages. They are 9 years and 10 years of Danny and Philip respectively. But they were surprised to see my quick answer and they asked me, how did I do that? I told them, it's not difficult. I took the age of Danny as x years. So that of Philip became 2x minus 8 years. So according to the second hint given by them, it became x into 2x minus 8 equals to 90, which is 2x square minus 8x minus 90 equals to 0 which is a quadratic equation and I have solved it and got the value of x using the quadratic formula that is x equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac upon 2a. The good thing is that this quadratic formula can solve every single quadratic equation very quickly however it just looks complicated but we have to remember this formula for the quick answers let's explore the formula a bit what do the letters a b and c stand for these letters are just the coefficients that means the number in front of the unknowns in our equation so in the equation 2x square minus 8x minus 90 equal to 0 the coefficient of x square is 2 so let's take it as a and coefficient of x is minus 8 so we have to take it as b and the constant minus 90 is taken as c so after putting these values of a b and c in the quadratic formula we get two values for x 9 and minus 5 but x is the age of Danny which cannot be negative so we will not take value as minus 5 but we will surely take value of x as 9 so Danny's age is 9 years and we will make use of this x for the age of Philip so age of Philip is 10 years so this is how I use quadratic formula for finding their exact ages but I also wanted to tell them what are the other benefits of this formula it will give you prior idea of how your values of x are gonna be and how to do that now you know how to get the values of a b and c from any quadratic equation use them and find the value of b square minus 4ac now this b square minus 4ac can have three types of values it can be positive it can be negative or it can be zero so let's start with positive if b square minus 4ac is positive then we can say it is greater than zero then what happens let's take example and see let's take the same quadratic equation which we have solved 2x square minus 8x minus 90 equal to zero so a is 2 b is minus 8 and c is minus 90 so on finding the value of b square minus 4ac we will get 784 which is greater than 0 that means it is positive so there we could see we got values of x as 9 and minus 5 that means we got two values of x which are not equal at the same time they are real numbers in other words they are real values now what if b square minus 4ac is less than 0 that is it is negative then what happens let's take an example let's take quadratic equation x square plus 2x plus 10 equal to 0 
so we will get a as 1 b as 2 and c as 10 on finding the value of b square minus 4 ac we will get minus 36 so let's solve this quadratic equation using quadratic formula so we will get x as minus 2 plus minus square root of minus 36 whole divided by 2 now this can't be solved further if you see in square root we are having negative value that means the values of x are distinct and not real that means they are imaginary okay now let's move on to the third value if b square minus 4ac is 0 then what happens let's take an example quadratic equation 4x square minus 4x plus 1 equal to 0 so a is 4 b is minus 4 and c is 1 on finding the value of b square minus 4ac we are getting it as 0 so let's solve this quadratic equation using quadratic formula and we are getting value of x as half 2 times that means value of x are same and they are real values so from this we can conclude whenever b square minus 4ac is equal to 0 the value of x will be equal and they will be real values and after hearing the benefits of this formula these brothers got excited to know where did I get this formula and even I was fine to explain them listen it is an extension of completing square method of quadratic equation as you know the quadratic equation generally can be written as ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 and in completing square method we take c to the right hand side and we see to it that coefficient of x square should be 1 so for that we divide whole equation by a so our equation becomes x square plus b by a into x equals to minus c by a now for completing the square on the left hand side we require three terms and as we can see we are having only two terms on the left hand side so how to find the third term this also we learnt in completing square method that is third term equals to coefficient of x divided by 2 and square it so in our case coefficient of x is b by a so on dividing by 2 we will get b by a by 2 and we have to square it so we are getting b square upon 2a the whole square so let's add this term on both sides for balancing the equation so our equation becomes x square plus b by a into x plus b square by 4a square equals to minus c by a plus b square upon 4a square and left hand side becomes x plus b by 2a the whole square by taking the reference of the famous mathematical identity a square plus 2ab plus b square which becomes a plus b the whole square and right hand side is b square minus 4ac upon 2a whole square so on taking square root both sides we will get x plus b by 2a equals to plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac upon 2a let's take b by 2a on the right hand side so this becomes x equals to minus b by 2a plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac upon 2a so finally the value of x for quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 becomes x equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac upon 2a this is the quadratic formula and this is what is used in solving any quadratic equation so we have learned three things in this session number one how to apply the quadratic formula number two how to find the nature of the value of x or any unknown number three how we have derived this quadratic formula hope you understood it thank you